Hey y'all, it's Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a cook with me in our hotel in our little kitchenette area. Tonight we're gonna be making spaghetti. It was something simple, very simple, so we're gonna roll with it. I don't have all my spices, but we're gonna work with what we have. Um, so I have this all natural ground beef sirloin and this is 90% lean, 10% fat. So I thought this would be really good for spaghetti. So I have this and it's actually still frozen a little bit, but we're gonna work with that, it's okay. I have a half of an onion here and I have the noodles that I got from Dollar Tree, which are Pasta City noodles. And then also the Dollar Tree Little Italy Foods Marinara, which is a pasta sauce. And this is 100% all natural, fat-free, cholesterol-free sauce. We also have of course, our good old salt and pepper, and I got some Cholula. Not sure if I'm gonna need that, but we also had, okay, so since we're here at the hotel, we've been eating kind of here and there and everywhere. Um, Cash works at Papa John's, so we had pizza, but I thought I could cook the meat with this garlic butter sauce, which would add some garlic to the meat. And then also we had Olive Garden yesterday. That's why I'm cooking today, because we have ate out a lot. This is some grated Romano cheese, which we can top our um, spaghetti with. And then I have a little bit of sugar because when you make a spaghetti sauce, anytime you use tomato sauce, you add just a little bit of sugar for the acidity of the tomatoes. So we're gonna use this. This is a little packet that came here with the coffee. <laughs> so we are gonna make use of what we have in a hotel and we're gonna cook as a dinner, y'all. Yes, we are cooking dinner on a budget in a hotel because we have been eating out. I also have this little thing of Lando Lakes butter in case I need that, but I think the garlic butter will be enough to start with. So we got our little two eyes, that's all we have. So let's actually go ahead and get the water in the pot to make our noodles. And we can get that boiling while we start cooking our meat. Our meat probably will take a little bit longer than usual because it is still frozen. I, we just got home from picking the boys up from football practice. So, yes. And the kitchenette here at the hotel, this is a, like a, a suite type hotel. It does come with the everything that you see here, like the pots and pans and utensils. So I'm using what they offer. So this is our first time cooking on this and we are gonna see about it. Let's see, I think that's the one. We're gonna turn that on. And you guys know I'm used to a fire stove. So, okay, so that one's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn both on. And I'm gonna salt my water here for the spaghetti. Gotta salt it really well, because it's just the water, we will drain it. And surprisingly, it did come with a drainer here. So let me grab the drainer out and show you guys. It came with a drainer here. I do have to rinse that off though. All right, so we're gonna chop up the half of this onion and I'm gonna go ahead and get this garlic, special garlic sauce from Papa John's as you see, and we're gonna put that in the bottom. Again, this is just butter and garlic. So that's what you would use in spaghetti anyway. So we had one left. I thought that would be really, really good. I hope everyone is doing well. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you stay and subscribe and hit that bell button so you're notified every time that I upload. And y'all, I'm using, you know, you guys know I usually have better nice knives than these, but I'm using what they have on hand and I'm, I'm very grateful for what they have. So we're just gonna chop this onion up. It doesn't have to be any certain pieces because we're gonna let it cook down pretty well. And this place came with this chopping board. How amazing is that? Things that you wouldn't think, you know, it, you would think it would come with just the basics like silverware, plates, cups. I mean, it even has coffee cups, wine cups, has a little bit of everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead. It's not even hot yet, but we're gonna go ahead and put it all in there and get this a going because the boys are hungry from just getting home from practice. Um, so hopefully you guys know I am used to a fire burner. <laughs> And I am gonna have to get used to it because my apartment that we're moving to is electric as well. So I'm gonna have to get back used to um, electric. So I am gonna salt the onions and butter and we're going to pepper it as well. And I got these salt and pepper shakers from of course Dollar Tree. These are perfect. 
and it doesn't even sound like it's starting to cook yet, but we will get there. So I'll be right back once it starts sizzling. Hey okay, y'all, we got it cooking. I do have the air vent on. We are in a hotel, so I don't want to smoke anybody out. Um, this garlic and um, this garlic butter and onion smells so good. I hope you can hear me. I'll turn down the pan in just a minute. It's actually on low, but it's kind of loud. I'm gonna flip the camera for you, and I'm gonna add this beef. And again, it's still frozen, but y'all, the garlic butter, that was a good idea. I'm glad I thought about doing that. Let me just turn around and show you guys. All right, so this is what she's looking like. She is cooking so good. I love for my onions to cook down really well and get translucent, so they become kind of sweet a little bit. I gotta keep that vent on though, because we're in a hotel. I don't want the fire alarm to go off. So yes, we are cooking. And then we're gonna add our beef in just a moment. And our water is getting to a boil over there. We're gonna start our pasta. Okay y'all, so the onions have cooked pretty well, so now we're gonna add the ground beef. It's frozen. And then we'll probably turn it down just a little bit to start cooking it and put a lid on it. I gotta get the lid. This is lid, let me rinse it off. Let's do a quick little rinse on it. Let me wipe it off with this. Alright. Let it go down some. Alright, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, this is what it's looking right, like right now. We're still trying to defrost it a little bit. And it's cooking wonderful. I'm gonna flip the sides. So basically, if it's frozen, you just keep flipping the sides like that and then scrub off. This is just, <laughs> if you're in a hurry and you haven't had time to defrost, just scrub off what was already cooked and defrosted and then put the lid back on. And it's looking so good. And it smells really good. Put that back in the, mi in the uh, middle. And I'll put the lid back on so I can cook and steam some more. I'm also going to add a little bit of this because I don't have any red pepper flakes. I'm just going to add a little bit. I mean, kind of a good bit. Just a little bit, add some flavor. Okay, y'all, I'm still mixing up the meat. It's just a little bit left frozen in it. I'm going to turn this off so you guys can hear me. And it's definitely cooking good over here. Just got a little bit left frozen. And it's looking good, smelling good. I think it's gonna turn out pretty darn good. We will see. But she is almost there. I'm gonna finish chopping her up and letting her cook just a little bit more. When she's all brown, I will come back when we add the sauce to it. All right, y'all, she is getting there. She still has a little red in her, so I'm going to keep cooking it. All right, looking wonderful. Okay, y'all, she is pretty much all brown, and then we're going to add our spaghetti sauce, and then we're going to move this to the back burner so we can start cooking the noodles while this marinates with the sauce. Oh, no. So we're gonna add in this marinara. I might not use all of it. It smells so good, but I might not use all of it. I don't like my spaghetti too saucy, but then again, we will have a lot of noodles. So I'm gonna add some. I might end up using it all just so we have enough to cover the noodles. Definitely looking so good. And you can salt and pepper it to your taste. Add red pepper flakes. Of course, if I was at home, I would add parsley and onion powder, garlic powder, but we don't have all of that here. So this is what we're making, making it work. So let's see. 
this looks like a good amount of sauce. I can save this for, for maybe something later. Maybe we can make some tortilla pizzas with it because this is a marinara sauce. But actually, we don't have an oven here, so maybe for something else. But I think that's all the pasta I'm going to use. Um, and I'm going to let this cook down and marinate, and then I'm going to start cooking the pasta in the pasta water. So let me switch switch pans. All right, y'all, so we have the boiling salted water here. We're going to add our spaghetti noodles, and I just like to break them in half. We're going to use all of the ones that come in the pack. I have not tried this brand before, but I'm sure it's good, just like any other spaghetti noodle. There we go. And we're gonna let this come to a boil. I'm gonna add some of the little sugar packets to the spaghetti sauce. I'm just add in two of these little ones for like coffee while the meat is just simmering. All right. We're just waiting on our pasta to boil. Okay, y'all. So now the pasta is cooked about al dente. It's pretty soft. And, um, but not too soft because I'm going to cook it the rest of the time in the meat sauce. So I'm just going to drain this. No, I'm not going to rinse it. I'm just going to drain it. And there's the drainer that's down in the pot. And I'll just leave those little goodies right there in the pot. Put that back on the pan. And we'll shake out our pasta. This is perfect pasta right here. And then put that back in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and pour the meat sauce on top because I'm gonna mix it all together. And the meat sauce came out absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So now we're gonna cook it together so it, the pasta can cook in the sauce as well. We're gonna make it one one big happy family right there. So that, we got all that out of there. I will wash this in a little bit while. Let me switch to my spoon. Let me bring you closer so you can see. Y'all, okay, we are about to add the Romano cheese to it. Just turn it off. that to the top get as much as I can okay that's one pack and two packs this is what we had left from when we ate there all right now I'm gonna mix it up oh it looks so good. Now we got to taste test it. Y'all see if all our seasoning for our salt, pepper, and see how it tastes. See the spaghetti? Okay, y'all, so we are about to taste test it. I need to get some meat on it. Some good old meat on it right there. I didn't roll it all the way, but we're going to taste test it. I'm sure it'll be okay. Mm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Y'all, that's actually pretty good. I can't even lie. That turned out pretty good. Oh my goodness. And it's just like marinating together. Let me turn the camera around and show you this beautiful thing right here. Make sure this thing is all the way off. So I can show you guys. Look at this beauty, y'all. She turned out amazing. She tastes good. She's flavorful. I love it. I'm sure the kids will love it. And 
that is it for the video. If you want, check me out on Instagram at taste.of.tiffany. That is my food channel. Now, usually I'm a little more gourmet than this. <laughs> Not gourmet, but this is what we're doing. We're just, this is budget, making it do in a hotel. We don't have an oven here, just a microwave and a stove top. So we are making do with what we have. But y'all, this turned out amazing using the products that we have. Look at this gorgeous spaghetti. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And thank you for all your support. I hope you stay and subscribe. Bye, everyone. Y'all have a good evening.